keeping it short and simple and sweet. I'm just that uh, that California kid that always had music in his blood. My mother, my father, uh, everyone in my family uh, either has something to do with music as far as my father playing saxophone to my mother singing, my sister singing. Um, they, they all actually composed a group, the first gospel group to go over to Albania and sing. So, like I said, music has been in my family forever. <laughs> and if I wasn't good at it, I would not be doing it at the end of the day. Uh, when I turned like nine years old or something, I was misdiagnosed. And they started treating me, threw me in chemo. I lost my hair before like sixth grade and whatnot. Like, so coming back after that, we had to do a lot of fighting in general. Like I went through so much uh, to the point where I literally had like an out of body experience, right? So. After coming back from that, it was bliss. Like, everything is trivial from that point on, even at a young age. So coming up here to New Hampshire, thousands of miles away, you know, that was just another undertaking that I felt like it was just something that was going to be easy. I know a lot of people ask me why you would remove yourself from home, but really home is anywhere that you can make it home. So it's all about the memories and the time that you spend. You gotta experience it, and you gotta harvest, you know, all the good energy that you can while you're here. So, music was an escape. At a young age, I started writing at like 12, and at this point, with sports being like the juxtaposition in my life, and music, you know, I feel like I've accomplished a lot on the court, and now it's time to accomplish a lot on the court in this music game, so yeah, we about to go pro with it. Be sure to check it out.